Now in this video of WPF, we are going to discuss about the dispatchers. As we know, by default, all .NET application in which we work, either it's a console or maybe WinForms or maybe a WPF application, all are single threaded apartments. All right, means there is a single thread maybe you can refer it as a main thread which goes through each and every process and executes it one by one but if i want to perform multi threading in any gui based application maybe if it is windows application in winforms or in wpf we will go through the problem of cross threaded exceptions Maybe if you are working with a text box and maybe you want some timer to change it, uh, to change the value continuously, maybe the text box and the timer are associated to the different threads which will cause you the cross threaded exceptions. So here in WPF, we have a solution for implementing the dispatcher. So what we are going to see in this particular video, we will use this dispatcher to make the multi-threaded application in WPF. So let's see how we can work on multi-threading using WPF. All right, so now to implement the dispatcher for the multi-threading application, what I have just done, I have taken a text box out here and when I click this button, I want some text to be there in the text box. So for now, what I have done, I have just implemented a very simple program using the multi-threading and without using the dispatcher. So let's see what I have done. So first of all, since this one is the multi-threading application, so I will include system.threading in the top of it. All right. So now once I included this one, I will start getting this thread class. So I have just taken an instance called th1 out there. Now, as soon as I will click the button, what I will do, I will in instantiate this object th1 and I will pass the reference of a method called set text. And what that set, set text is doing, it is actually setting some value in this text box. All right. So obviously I will start the thread so that it will be scheduled and then this method will be invoked. In this, I am just taking a very simple example for one thread, but obviously whenever you come across a situation, you can use a similar concept in order to access or to manipulate any controls value. So let's execute and see what is the difference with this one. All right. So I just executed and I'll click this button. And as soon as I did that, you can see it is system dot invalid operation occurs. All right. What it is it saying? The calling thread cannot access this object because this object means this text box because a different thread owns it. All right. So this is the problem whenever you work with the ST apartment, whether this one is a Windows application or WPF application. In Windows application, you can use some, you make some use of delegates and all that will be a very lengthy process. Obviously that will make you done that particular thing. But here, just because of dispatcher, it will be quite simpler task for us. So what we will do this dot dispatcher. All right. So this dot dispatcher means from here, I'm invoking this dispatcher and this dispatcher contains a class, uh, contains a method called invoke. Since here, I don't have any generic method or something. So I can invoke the non generic definition as well. So what will I do inside this? I will have to pass some delegate or directly I can pass some Lambda expression as well. So here's what I'm doing since I'm going to call something or I'm going to perform something which doesn't want any parameter or any return value. So what will I do right here? I will do the task. All right. So I will just do the similar thing. Uh, like I'll just cut it from here and I will paste it inside. All right. If you want, you can even uh, remove these parentheses because I did, sorry, did these delimiters because uh, I don't want uh, uh, to perform some big operations out there, but it's all up to your wish. All right. So let's put those things. I just wanted to clarify that because it will be simpler in syntax. All right. So now I'll execute the same program here. And as soon as I'll do that, you can see the text is right there. So this is how this dispatcher will help us in putting the multi-threading program in the single thread apartment applications like WPF.